with uh, building an app for other users in particular, uh, it's worth learning a little bit of uh, UX design. That stands for user experience. And uh, if you're on any of the uh, the massive companies, so your, your Facebooks and your YouTube, they, they will have invested heavily in UX design. And the, there'll be so much of the way that they design their site is uh, to make it uh, intuitive and common sense what items do. Uh, and one of the ways that we can do that in Bubble uh, and can feel like a little bit mature, but it's an important bit of ensuring that our users don't get frustrated with what we make is a hover effect. Um, how do we do a hover effect? Let me show you. So at the moment I have this button uh, styled by a style named primary button. Um, and we have a video on our YouTube channel talking about why uh, this is something that can be overlooked that uh, style allows you to basically build the look of an element once and then apply it to multiple elements um, so we could have multiple buttons and then if I go in and edit the style let's take the uh, the font weight down it applies it to every instance of the same type of element that has that style applied sometimes it's helpful to override that so we'll do that by removing style that makes this element then unique it's not going to have an impact on other buttons and over in in conditional uh, you can see it's inherited it from that style I've just removed uh, I have a conditional statement of this button is hovered and then the background color and it's quite common just to go with a color that is slightly darker and we can preview that by hitting the on so then the UI editor behaves as if the uh, this statement is uh, passing as true. Um, why is that relevant to responsive design? Uh, well, because when we have a user who's on a tablet or a phone, they don't have hover. So as well as bearing in mind that um, if there's an important part of our app that relies on, on this element is hovered to display key information or, or, or whatever really, um, you can't rely on that on a device that doesn't use a mouse because there is no hover when you're scrolling on an iPhone, for example. Something else to bear in mind is when we start to get down to say really small screens is uh, someone isn't pointing with a mouse pointer or even likely using a stylus, they're using a finger uh, to navigate your site. So don't create your buttons too small or too close to each other uh, where they can't clearly tap on the elements that they want to interact with.